pit stop on the north coast. It's ridiculous out here, we're the only people. Welcome to part three of our Tasmania van adventure. We spent 11 days in a bargain camper van. Remember, it's a very old budget van, but we love it. We circumnavigated the island from Launceston to the eastern and southern coast, cradle country, the northern coast, and back to Launceston. Tasmania is a small island state of Australia. This island is filled with beautiful beaches, craggy mountains, and adorable wildlife. Here's part three of our trip and our favorite places to experience in Tasmania. We took an easy 40 minute drive from our campsite in Gowrie to the Cradle Mountain Visitor Center. We decided to hike the Cradle Mountain Summit that day. It was rewarding and beautiful. But if you want more, we made an entire video of that super fun yet scary day. because the shuttle back. Ooh, we were hiking till four. Long day, great day, love it. We tried to make it to the coast that night, but only got about an hour in. We stopped at the Hellier Gorge rest area to camp for the night. It was okay, nothing special, since it was off season and the water was turned off in the bathrooms. Next morning, we woke up early, headed towards the coast. We made a pit stop in Wynard to air out the car and wash our dishes since we were out of water. We refilled our water tank and stopped at Woolworths for more groceries. We had a pit stop for some cheap gas and some pretty funny anecdotes. Remember, it's mid-March 2020. We stopped at a few beaches on our way down the coast. Then we drove west towards Stanley to take a short, steep hike up the Nut Nature Preserve. How steep is it? Sean's a nut job. It's really steep. My legs are sore from hiking Cradle Mountain yesterday. So pretty. chunk of steak. <laughs> From Stanley, we continued to drive west to Marawa. There was a great free campsite called Greenpoint Camping Area. It had a beach, tide pools, surfers, public toilet, and it was just gorgeous. We 
saw a really beautiful sunrise with cows, despite the trash cans. There were padded melons in the bushes near our van, and we had a lovely coffee in bed as we watched the ocean. Next up, Rocky Cape National Park, as we made our way back east. Pit stop on the north coast. It's ridiculous out here, we're the only people. and then a mandatory stop in Penguin, because the name was just way too cute. Can I see your best penguin face? Are you a chicken or a penguin? It's <laughs> pretty good. That's better. Next, a stop at the Tasmanian Arboretum. I love this place. We visited this botanic garden because Founders Lake is an almost guaranteed place to see platypus. They are wild in this lake and the area is protected so they feel really safe. Come this way, come this way, mm. come this way. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Oh, to, me, that's, to me, that's rejectable. Yeah. I, I've spent a bit of time following these things around. I, yeah. I regard them as my personal trainers. Wow. So make you do several lakes. Several. Look, he's coming this way. You see the bubbles? Yes. Look. Oh. Right underneath the feet. We got so lucky, and one of them even swam underneath me while I was on the bridge. See the mud? Okay, like over there. After the best afternoon ever, we drove to Narantapu National Park. We paid $16 for a powered campsite. We wanted to see how that felt. We plugged in our camper van and then enjoyed all the wildlife that was surrounding our van. It was such a cool place. Only a few other people there and we were surrounded by the patamelons, the Bennett's wallaby, and the forester's kangaroos. And there were tons of local birds and lots of hiking trails. We spent such a pleasant evening watching the forester kangaroos graze on grass and the patamelons keeping us company with our dinner. It was nice to plug in, we were able to run our heater, use the hot water boiler. The electricity felt like a whole new experience. It was like a luxury van. After a really restful night, next morning we embarked on a hike called Archer's Knob.
love that this hike ends in a beach walk. After our morning hike, we drove towards the Tamar River, hoping to do some exploring. Unfortunately, almost everything was closed because the threat of COVID was really growing. Beautiful bridge. Oh, yeah. Whoa, the Batman Bridge. Batman Bridge. That's so, so baller that they call it the Batman Bridge. Oh, this will be fun. What? This is like, this is like the George Washington Bridge. It's huge. Way higher than I expected. Oh, well, because big boats go here. I get it. It's just wowza. Wow. Wow, wow, we won. Good goodness. We headed over the Batman Bridge, which was awesome, to the Lilydale campsite, which really wasn't anything special. Wouldn't recommend it. There were a lot of people that looked like they kind of lived at that campsite. We chose it because it was close to Launceston since we were returning our van at 8 a.m. the next morning. In hindsight, we should have just stayed in Narantapu National Park for one more night since that was so pleasant. On our last morning with the van, we said goodbye at the airport and then we were left to figure out how to get home. But that's another story, which you can check out in this other playlist. Goodbye, Tasmania. We had a wonderful time. We really hope to come back and keep exploring this beautiful island. Oh.